Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Blind Spots. I'm your host, Laura Malvoyant, and today we're diving into a topic that's increasingly crucial in our tech-driven world, digital sovereignty. As a low vision YouTuber passionate about technology and its attentional use, I'm thrilled to explore the subject with you. First things first, what exactly is digital sovereignty? Digital sovereignty refers to the ability of a nation or organization to exercise control over its digital infrastructure and data. This means having the autonomy to make decisions about technology use without being overly dependent on foreign entities. In Europe, digital sovereignty is becoming more important as concerns about data privacy, security, and economic independence grow. By adopting free and open source software, or FOSS, Countries and organizations can ensure that their digital infrastructure is transparent, customizable, and free from hidden backdoors or proprietary restrictions. This transparency fosters trust and allows for greater scrutiny, which is essential for maintaining high standards of security and privacy. Why is digital sovereignty gaining traction in Europe? Well, there are several reasons. For one, data privacy regulations like GDPR have highlighted the need for better control over personal data. Additionally, there's a growing recognition that relying too heavily on non-European tech companies can pose risks to security and economic stability. By fostering homegrown tech solutions, Europe can ensure that its digital landscape aligns with its values and regulations. Free and open source software plays a crucial role here by providing the flexibility to adapt and innovate without being constricted by proprietary software licenses. This not only enhances security and privacy, but also drives down cost and promotes a culture of innovation. Let's look at a specific example right here in France. Since 2007, the French Gendarmerie, which is equivalent to a high-level police, has been using its own fork of Ubuntu called Jeanbuntu. With over 100,000 workstations running on this OS, they've saved a significant amount of money on Microsoft licenses, but it's not just about the cost savings. Using Jeanbuntu, the French Gendarmerie has enhanced its security posture. Open source software allows for continuous scrutiny and improvement by a global community of developers, which means vulnerabilities can be identified and patched more quickly. Additionally, the transparency of FOSS ensures that there are no hidden backdoors or proprietary restrictions that could compromise sensitive data. The adoption of Jumbuntu has also reduced the need to replace hardware when older Microsoft versions are no longer supported. This not only saves money, but also promotes sustainability by extending the lifespan of existing hardware. Furthermore, the French Gendarmerie's move to FOSS has spurred innovation within the organization as they can now customize and adapt their software to meet specific needs and challenges. Speaking of support, the end of support for Windows 10 is fast approaching in October of 2025. This is a big deal for many government agencies and cities that will need to reevaluate their tech strategies. Budget is always a hot topic, but it's time to address the elephant in the room, our unwavering support for Microsoft. Despite continually increasing license prices and ongoing security concerns, switching to FOSS can mitigate these issues by providing a cost-effective, secure, and customizable alternative. Open source solutions are not only more affordable, but also offer a greater control over data and enhance privacy protections. By embracing FOSS, organizations can break free from the cycle of expensive license renewals and forced hardware upgrades, all while fostering a culture of innovation and self-reliance. Another exciting development is the announcement that Lyon, the third largest city in France, is switching to Linux only Office, and PostgreSQL. This move towards free and open source software is a bold step towards breaking free from American tech conglomerates. By adopting these open source solutions, Lyon is not only paving the way for a safer and more sovereign digital future, but also reaping significant benefits in terms of security, privacy, and cost savings. Open source software is inherently more secure due to its transparency and the collaborative efforts of a global community of developers. This means that vulnerabilities can be identified and addressed more quickly, reducing the risk of data breaches and other security incidents. 
Moreover, the switch to FOSS allows Lyon to have greater control over its digital infrastructure, ensuring that sensitive data is protected and privacy is maintained. This move also results in substantial cost savings as open source solutions eliminate the need for expensive license fees and reduce the dependency on proprietary software vendors. But the benefits don't stop there. By embracing FOSS, Lyon is also promoting innovation within the city. Open source software provides a flexibility to customize and adapt solutions to meet specific needs, fostering a culture of creativity and problem solving. This can lead to the development of new technologies and services that can benefit not only Lyon, but the other cities and organizations looking to enhance their digital sovereignty. So, what does this mean for the future? Embracing digital sovereignty through open source solutions can lead to a greater control over our digital lives. It's about making intentional choices that prioritize security, privacy, and economic independence. As we've seen with the French Gendarmerie and Lyon, the benefits are clear. Cost savings, enhanced security, reduced dependency on foreign tech giants, and a boost in innovation. By adopting FOSS, we can create a more transparent, customizable, and secure digital landscape. This not only aligns with our values and regulations, but also drives down cost and promotes a culture of innovation. It's time to take control of our digital future and embrace the power of open source solutions. While the benefits of switching to FOSS are compelling, it's important to acknowledge the challenges and hesitations that organizations may face. Understanding these concerns can help address them more effectively and pave the way for a smoother transition to open source solutions. One of the primary concerns is the perceived lack of support. Many organizations are accustomed to the dedicated customer service and technical support provided by proprietary software vendors. Switching to FOSS can seem daunting because it often relies on community support, which may not offer the same level of immediate, personalized assistance. However, it's worth noting that many open source projects have thriving communities and professional support options available for a fee. Another common hesitation is the potential learning curve and training requirements. Employees who are familiar with proprietary software may need time to adapt to new open source tools. This can involve additional training and temporary reductions in productivity. To mitigate this, organizations can invest in comprehensive training programs and gradually phase in the new software to allow for a smoother transition. Compatibility and integration issues can also pose challenges. Some organizations rely on proprietary software that may not seamlessly integrate with open source alternatives. This can lead to concerns about data migration, interoperability, and potential disruptions to existing workflows. Conducting thorough compatibility assessments and pilot testing can help identify and address these issues before a full-scale rollout. Additionally, there may be concerns about the stability and reliability of open source software. While many open source projects are highly stable and well-maintained, the perception that they are less polished or more prone to bugs can be a deterrent. Highlighting successful case studies and the robust development processes of established open source projects can help alleviate those concerns. Organizational culture and resistance to change can play a significant role. Employees and stakeholders may be resistant to switching to FOSS due to familiarity with current systems or skepticisms about the benefits of open source solutions. Effective communication, stakeholder engagement, and demonstrating the long-term advantages of FOSS can help overcome this resistance. While there are valid concerns and challenges associated with switching to FOSS, many of these can be addressed through careful planning, investment and in training, and support, and a strategic approach to implementation. By acknowledging and proactively addressing these hesitations, organizations can successfully transition to open source solutions and reap the benefits of digital sovereignty. Thank you so much for joining me today on Blind Spots. I hope this episode has shed some light on the importance of digital sovereignty and inspired you to think more critically about the technology we use every day. Until next time, 
Stay curious and intentional with your tech choices. Bye for now.